So far, 12 people have been confirmed dead following a heavy downpour that led to flash floods which in turn triggered landslides in Bundibujo. According to the State Minister for Disaster Preparedness, Muse Cheru, government is working tirelessly to recover bodies that were buried by landslides in the Hili district. And I've confirmed, as I talk to you now, uh, a, a 12 bodies, that is 11 adults and one child, have been re 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 retrieved by a team of leaders, my police, and uh, my auxiliary group, the Red Crow. We think there might be bodies because out of this uh, 13, one mother is not even identified. She had just come to look for 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 for, for grasshoppers to to, to have a grasshoppers. But uh, so we fear that if there are so many of her type who were around, I've lost uh, so far 14 people, and uh, most of the, some of them were coming from the mountainous areas, and uh, some parts of the roads were cut off, like Tokwe and Chirindi, and also River Chirumia overflowed. The Bundibujo district chairperson Ronald Mutegeki has revealed to NTV that the district is working around the clock to relocate the thousands of people who have been displaced. We are talking beyond 4,000 households because the, the damage has hit different parts of the district. And the government to set up a team to come on ground and they, they assess the level of damage. Bundibujo district leadership is now calling out for help from government and other humanitarian agencies. HRO has revealed that they had already dispatched a team to go and monitor the situation. Um, I have dispatched immediately uh, some relief assistance and directed them uh, uh, to see that the survivors are quickly relocated to the nearest schools, to the nearest churches, uh, as I dispatch food, as I dispatch non-food items, to make sure that we take care of the survivors uh, as we monitor the situation. There have been a number of floods and landslides in Bundibujo since the current heavy rains began, but this is the first time deaths have been reported. At the end of November, at least 3,000 people were displaced after landslides in the district.